Hello, good morning. Uh, I know I just posted last night after work. Um, it's like almost noon um, on the 21st. And so, um, things that I kind of noticed uh, budgeting wise with myself um, is that the first month I did pretty good. Um, keeping some cash on me, leaving my debit card at home. The, um, I think, I don't know if it was the end of the first month or somewhere in February, I needed to buy something, so I brought my debit card with me. Um, it was something that, like, I knew I needed to buy, and using a credit card was, or credit card, my debit card was the best way to do it. Um, I since haven't put my debit card back away, so it's been in my wallet. Um, so I've been charging little things like, um, getting salon pos patches for my elbow. Um, what was there else? There was a brace for my elbow. My elbow hurts a lot whenever I do things. I'm short. My hands are small. Anything that I grab is like, when to a normal person, it's like this. I just have little hands. Um, and I'm short. So the, the wand for our backpack vacuum like I set it up so it was up as tall as it could be it's as tall as me um when it's down in the mode like down so that the the head of it is flat on the floor it's still above my the bottom of my rib cage maybe about to my boobs armpit <laughs> it's it's very tall for me and it, it's a bad angle for me and my body but um so i'm hoping that working out i'll be able to get my grip strength back um also be able to work out those tendons versus tiny little repetitive repetitive motions um so i i just it was nickel and dimed my debit card that way on random little things things that are needed i used it for my alternator um i used it uh or a couple things that i used it for that were just it, it's you know a hundred bucks here five bucks there sort of deal um I think a bunch of that is insecurity from having spent so much time not having money and they they say that at the beginning of budgeting you're going to get tried, you're going to be tested um, to see if you're really committed to it and I'm committed to it but I also feel like lots of little things have come up. so. What I'm learning from paying attention to where my monies go, all those little monies, um, I created a few sinking funds. So it might not be every month that I need to get new salon pos patches or more um, naproxen or ibuprofen. Um, so I started a sinking fund. I just throw. Uh, 20 bucks a month into that that can buy shampoo I don't buy shampoo very often I buy a bottle of shampoo like maybe once a year if that um, coffee um, so yeah and just sort of sorting out how much I might spend on a regular basis um, yeah, sinking funds, they're, they're kind of, I think that's what's going to get me to the point where I can start paying off debt. Um, a sinking fund win is that I'm, I've, I'm on track for paying my car insurance. Like, I pay it, pay it every six months, and my renter's insurance is annually. 
And so I lumped all that together into a banking account sinking fund that automatically withdraws the day after I get paid my one paycheck every month. Um, I don't know, like I just, I kind of feel a little bit defeated, like I'm doing it to myself, but I'm also trying to set myself up so that I'm not screwing up so much. So I give myself 20 bucks pocket money. I keep a spare 20 in the car for fuel in case I need fuel. And I keep a spare 20 tucked away inside of a little folded up um, index card. And that's for like emergency. I ran out of milk and I forgot to grab my grocery shopping wallet. I actually have, um, I'll show this a little bit. I have a wallet that I bought. I, I don't carry a wallet this big. My wallet's like the size of a credit card. Um, I think it fits like 10 or 15 cards into it. It's kind of small. I like the minimalist. I carry it in my pocket. I'm a girl. Our clothes fit tighter. Our pockets are smaller. Smaller wallet is good. Then I just have to check wallet, keys, cell phone, go out the door. So I'm pretty much minimalist that way. Um, so here's here's what I do for my groceries. Yeah. So I keep um, I keep my store cards down at the bottom. You see where it says Safeway Club. Um, that's store cards. I have some random punch cards. I have some, um, yeah, staring at my dirty kitchen. Um, I have some coupons. This is kind of like my, my grocery store wallet. So I've got some coupons that I just throw into the food section. Okay. So then, let's see if you can even see this. Oh, okay. We're going to get fancy. I'm going to use my mouth. Okay, so, here's how I sort things out. Uh, I frequently buy fuel at my grocery store. I don't know if you can even read that because it's backwards. It says fuel. And then the next spot back, there's food. So I keep them separated. Um, oops. Dang it. And then in in the spots. Let's see if you can see this. Oh man. I don't have enough fingers for this. I see. I just can't talk to you. See? And there's that one. And then I think I still have another hundred dollar bill. Ah, there's a fifty. A hundred, yeah. So, uh, I keep the working money in the front part for the food, um, and then I, I have another $100 bill um, for starting on the 1st. I get paid on the 15th, so I pull out uh, 200 bucks. 250 is what I'm pulling out now. So, the 20s are what's left over from, I went and bought um, 40 something dollars worth of groceries, and then I bought something else. I think I put it on my debit card. So I pulled that money out of here and put it into an envelope to go back to the bank. Um, I don't know if that system's going to work for me. And then I've got this spare 50. Um, I'm going to keep pulling out um, 250 for a while until I get some money set aside um, for buying grocery or um, garden stuff. So that's how I'm going to kind of sinking fund my garden stuff. Um, and then I'll be saving money because I'll be eating out of the garden. Um, <sighs> strawberry plants have started growing. So they're not flowering yet. It's still... It's cold here. I mean, it's not cold. It just... It's not freezing. It's just still cold. Uh, we don't tend to start our summer until like end of June beginning of July because that's everybody just gets super sunburnt um, 
that 4th of July weekend. And, uh, yeah, because we're in Oregon and we're all albino. Unless you've been spending a lot of money getting tans. Um, yeah, so that's kind of just how I'm dealing with my, my grocery monies. And um, I give myself a $20 a week allowance. And that... Let's see. Let's sort this out. So, I've got this planner. It's kind of where I... Uh, I sort out where all my bills are due, which I just have a, a cell phone. Um, rent is pretty obvious. You pay rent at the beginning of every month. Rent, cell phone, um, any chiropractor stuff, any spot where I'm going to need to do a copay. I also write down um, where I spent money so like I wrote down that I went to Goodwill with my aunt that's how much money I spent um, so actually she bought my Goodwill stuff so I bought her lunch kind of narrows it down um, I think I spent a little bit more than her but she's taken me out to lunch a few times so <sighs> you have to stay in good graces with your family I still made off pretty cheap, considering she bought me Thai food, and oh, it was so good, so good, so good. And it was before I'd gotten paid, so I couldn't do anything to help pay for it. Anyway, and then, um, so, this is where, where I do things. So, up at the top, I write down any bills that I've collected, um, an ER visit, how much that is, a copay, how much that is, um pay off cell phone everything's backwards on this thing that's what the top thing says pay off cell phone and I did that I was expecting 530 and it came out to 503 and then the ER visits the next one 100 bucks and a copay for a doctor's appointments 20 bucks so that's just kind of all I do and then I wrote down the day that I paid off my phone um, now on the other page, this is where I keep my allowance. Um, I keep it clipped here. Then, I mean, I'm already marking where the month is. Um, and then it's just a reminder that on Monday, when I give myself my allowance, I come in to the planner, which normally like really suck at coming in and reconciling anything. So I come into the planner and I write down on the days, uh, what days I did stuff. Um, I mark out um, the, the next month of anything that is coming up, like any, um, excuse me, doctor's appointments, work appointments, um, things that I've got coming up keep track of of where I anticipate money to go and then um, so this this planner has a weekly view and the monthly view monthly view is kind of where I keep track of everything and on the weekly view is where I write a more detailed um, so I'll write down groceries on the monthly and then on the weekly I'll put Fred Myers spent blah 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 um, got these things, what not like that. I also write down um, the paydays and how much money I got paid. And that way, I mean, just kind of like the detailed numbers happen in the weekly part. And then when I have taken care of that, I'll let myself have my $20 allowance. And if I'm too lazy to take care of that, well then I guess... I've got 20 bucks towards a sinking fund somewhere. Um, which I think I'm going to make a personal sinking fund. Not based on whether or not I, I balanced my budget, but based on... There's some bigger things that I want to get. I want to get an Ofuro tub, which is a, a soaking tub. It's a, um, it's a collapsible <laughs> Ofuro tub. Uh, my tub is a classic bathtub that you can get your shoulders under 
or you can have your boobs under well you, I don't think I can even get my boobs under the water here um anyway so the ofuro tub is a soaking tub Japanese soaking tub I want to get one of those and that's like 70 bucks so I think that the money that I save on my allowances will go into a can and I'll sinking fund something big like that that I want to get um I see a lot of people who do hoodoo, hoodoo voodoo, um, rewards for hitting points in their, in their paying off debt. Um, I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do that, but that might be something to do. I mean, I might, I might sinking fund a reward and if it takes me too long to hit, like sinking fund the reward, but have a max amount so like sinking fund a hundred dollars and I anticipate that it's gonna take me three months to hit the whatever spot so if I put six or thirty bucks thirty bucks a month forty bucks a month um, into a sinking fund and then in three months I'll have the hundred dollars be able to buy something cool like an ofuro tub that fits inside of my bathtub it's pretty cool anyway all right so um yeah i don't have any subscribers but uh if you happen to find this video sometime down the road you know it's time capsule uh march 21st 2017 um and you find this down the road feel free to let me know what what kind of stuff you do how do you how do you trick yourself into doing the work? Um, what do you do when you find yourself reverting back to old habits? <sighs> How do you find security? Um, yeah, I think my debit card's kind of a security blanket. Um, yeah, and just let me know anything that, uh, whatever. Let me know any questions about me. I don't think that I'm at a point now where I can give very much advice, but I can show how I'm doing things. And I'm still learning. I'm only on, this is my third month of proper budgeting. Um, third month of trying to tackle my debt. I haven't paid any extra towards any of my debt, except for I did pay off a cell phone that I had bought for like $503. I had an emergency fund, you know, baby step one, um, but I found another piece of tax paperwork and had to pay back my emergency fund. So I'm back at baby step one, um, and I know I'm doing all these funny sinking funds and stuff, but I'm finding a lot of, I'm finding a lot of nickel and dime things, and there's things that I need to take care of. I need to get my car taken care of um, to make that a re reliable vehicle or to buy a new vehicle that's more reliable. Um, my car's fine. It just, it's got some wear and tear on it that needs to be replaced. So, yep, that's where I'm at. Um, one step forward, three steps back, I'm climbing a sand dune, but at least I know where the top of the sand dune is, kind of. It's probably going to be one of those crazy ones that once you hit the top, you realize that there's a whole nother top just beyond that, you know, like life, adulting. <sighs> Onward and upwards. Cheers.